Okay, I am Wei Ming Zhao. I was born in 1960 in the far northwestern China and grew up there. And it was not until I was 30 years old I moved to Canada from China in 91. I'm at uh, the drawing studio of an uh, art gallery of southwestern Manitoba. I'm right now looking out of the window at the uh, intersection of uh, 8th Street and the Rosser Avenue. And looking at the view, which is basically framed by a two block of the street, after both are historic site. So I'm going to spend maybe an hour or two to paint what I see. So I'm just trying to block. So since the light will go very, very fast, I better <laughs> paint very fast. So I lived in Canada for um, 30 years. Um, I grew up in the uh, very isolated part of China, which is the far northwestern, which shares border with uh, former USSR, Soviet Union, and just uh, 100 kilometers away from the border. Um, it was a very isolated part of China, and uh, the climate is almost identical to prairie here, except very mountainous, and uh, on outside of the mountainous area is a huge Gobi Desert. And uh, later on, I moved to um, eastern part of China, and uh, in the middle of the 80s, and I never went back to my hometown. And uh, I taught college, high school, for a total of 10 years. And before I finally uprooted myself and uh, left China and uh, came straight to Brandon, Manitoba. I'm a um, landscape painter. I, I don't use the words artist. <laughs> I paint predominantly in oil. When I started six, 17 years ago, I used, I tried a different medium. I tried oil. I tried watercolor. I tried acrylic. And uh, eventually, I decided to stay with uh, oil. The reason is very obvious. Oil paint is the most versatile of all the medium. And uh, because the fact that I paint mostly outdoor, I need something that can sustain any kind of weather. Um, I started when I was very young, uh, like early teenagers in China. And at that time, it was in the heat of a cultural revolution in China. So the education system was collapsed. There's not mo much going on in school. So painting is an uh, escape for me. I painted many years, but really, I have never had any formal training, except uh, when I was a young teenager, I was um, co close with a few good friends who were all interested in painting. And also I have a, some sort of a family influence. And the two of my uncles, are. Uh, professional painters. Um, both are professors of 
fine art in Academy of Art, Fine Art in China. But they didn't have a chance to teach me a lot. I just basically paint on my own. The way I paint, because I always paint all the door, you cannot start by focusing too much detail. And the shape and the form is all I need. So I'm just trying to block this block of street with a, a major shape and a form. I, I don't want people to see exactly what I'm painting right away because that is actually not a very good sign. That means you're, you start from detail too early, too um, specific, and then you'll be running out of time. When I paint, I focus mostly on um, the light. And I believe if you can paint the light, and you can paint anything, it doesn't matter. And also that's why I'm interested in outdoor painting, because that's a most wonderful, exciting place to observe how light shaped the form make everything interesting. So uh, whatever view you, you are exposed to is defined by light. No light, there will be no color. Well, I enjoy winter painting so much. Actually, my favorite season after to paint outside is after winter, you won't believe it. But winter paint times, when I paint outside, or painting directly from life, it has a huge challenge. Of course, the element of the cold, eh? and the paint, oil paint, will you likely behave very differently. The winter is, for me, is the time to paint the dramatic change of light. I moved to um, Canada in 91. And I spent my first uh, four years as a university student at Brandon University. Uh, after I graduated uh, in 95, uh, my family finally were able to come to join me. That was almost five years of a separation without any much of a contact with my wife and daughter. Because at that time, it's very difficult to get them here. So imagine five years, the only way of communication is through the real letters because at that time there was no internet not even a landed wire phone in china yet when i hold my brush have you notice even the smaller brushes i hold it at the very end of the brush i try to hold my brush like a Music conductors holding their baton, uh, 
um, I realized if I if I hold my brushes too low like this I started to fussy about the detail and also if you, I hold my brush like this it actually limit how much my arm will move I lived in Brandon, Manitoba for th almost 31 years now. So in a few more months, I calculated I would uh, be living here more than any place for my uh, in my life. So I'm very much identify myself with Canada as a whole, Prairie, Manitoba, particular. I painted so much over the 15 years. If I close my eye, I almost can paint everything just from my memory. And uh, also the prairie landscape um, appears to me more than anywhere else. Canada to me is more like a home than China now. For the past few years, I've been back to China a few times. And uh, you won't believe it. I don't feel like much to paint there unless I have to. But as soon as I come back to Canada, <laughs> I just automatically feel like painting again. Maybe that's a sign. No. This is my home now, after 30 something years. When you paint from life, it's like um, you are carrying on a, a dialogue with the nature and you want to say so much and then when you feel that there's not much you want to add anymore that's the time you call it a finish